from Indy's streaming news leader. This is a WRTV update. I'm Lauren Casey and here's a look at today's top stories. Developing now, Indiana State Police say 16-year-old Bryson Muir has been found safe and his parents are in custody. Bryson has been missing for more than two weeks. The parents of former lineman Daniel Muir and his wife Kristen are in police custody. They're charged with obstruction of justice and domestic battery. It comes after state police executed a search warrant on the Muir residence off U.S. Highway 24 that's in Logansport. As for Bryson, and police say the teen is now in the custody of DCS. Metro police are investigating what led to a deadly shooting on the city's near east side. Police say this all happened at 10th and rural streets around 430 this morning. We're told one person was taken to the hospital in critical condition and later died. Police have not released what led to the gunfire. This isn't the first time police have been called to the intersection for gun violence. Less than two weeks ago, two women showed up to the same gas station with gunshot wounds. Center Grove Schools now officially has a new superintendent. Dr. William Long has been serving as the school's interim superintendent since January 8th. He was approved by the Board of Trustees to take on this role officially. This comes after the previous superintendent, Rich Arkanoff, retired earlier this year amid an ongoing investigation of his time off and reimbursement tracking. Superintendent Long has been with the district since the late 90s, serving as an assistant principal and high school principal before becoming the assistant superintendent. He and his wife, Lori, share five children who are also all graduates of Center Grove. Let's get a check right now of our forecast with Todd. All right, Lauren, as we go forward here throughout the course of uh, the day today, temperatures will be in the mid to upper 80s. The humidity continues to climb as well, and that'll put heat index values up into the 90s. So the heat and humidity is back, and so our storm chances. Look for some scattered storms here throughout the afternoon and evening hours, and some of them could be strong to severe, especially here in southern locations, and that's where uh, the Storm Prediction Center maintains a slight risk for severe weather. Uh, wind would be the main threat with those storms as they move through tomorrow for your Independence Day. We're looking at temperatures that will be in uh, the 80 degree range with showers and thunderstorms off and on throughout most of the day. Uh, likely non severe. It does look like after six o'clock we do get a break in the weather. Lauren for those firework displays. All right, Todd, for more stories and weather you need to know, just download the WRTV mobile app. Thanks for joining us.